Hello, I'm Anita Matthew Velikapan. Uh, we live in Goa. We have been doing integrated farming in uh, Salem village, Bicholim, Goa. Uh, the initial idea when we started this farm, it was the prawn farming, which we, which was our dream, but uh, it was a big failure. All this uh, initial when we started uh, this, we got the seeds, the piglings, and everything from uh, ICR, and. Uh, as always, we know that farmers have to face a lot of challenges, climatic, be it climatic or disease, whatever. So we have been always, uh, uh, they, uh, the ICR uh, scientists, sir, all of them have been really, really supportive. We could call them at any time. They would answer or give their feedback or guidance. Now we successfully do the piggery, the fish, sonak, basa, and the fruits and uh, hand cow also we have. We collect the waste from the hotels and this hotel waste in a month around 100 ton of waste has been collected from around the restaurants uh, by taking money from the restaurant owners because even they find it so difficult to dispose the waste. So we collect the waste uh, and then around 100 tons and uh, the uh, the pig waste which has come that is mixed in our uh, uh, ponds create the algae and this algae is consumed by the fish tilapia so we uh, mainly breed tilapias in a pond because we uh, grow uh, tsonak that is sea bass which is highly consumed and the favorite fish of goan people so uh, the tsonak always needs the life feed if you go to put them uh, the feed, they'll not consume it. They always have to hunt and eat. So this tilapias breed really faster. So that uh, once the tilapia breeds in a pond, the tilapia eats uh, the sonak eats this tilapia, and uh, and the uh, the waste which is collected from everywhere, all this livestock, it has been uh, given to a fertilizer as a for our fruits and vegetation. So uh, the main source of energy is basically the waste. So we do yearly harvest of the fish and uh, average rate for uh, Tsarnak will be like in a year if you go to see it will be 15 lakhs of rupees. And uh, so we have, uh, we what we do is every month we have around uh, 30 pigs which we sell to the hotels. The average weight which we give is like 110 to 120 per peak, uh, which attains that weight in a years of time. We have around 200 uh, local uh, hens, uh, which lay around uh, 100 uh, eggs per day. So here the rate which we get is say, uh, 10 rupees per egg. So uh, that is also like 30,000 per month and uh, the pineapple which we get from here the uh, that is like three to four lakhs per year we have goats only two goats which we got from kvk we have uh, papaya trees uh, plants almost around uh, 400 plants we have uh, of red lady so uh, in an average uh, on a tree we'll get around 70 kg of fruit and uh, the okay, per kg 20 rupees we sell it in the market per cage. Uh, we have kept the nominal fees uh, so that uh, visitors, uh, you know, they can come and see uh, a farm. And you know, they I, what I suggest is they themselves should also start or get into agriculture. We had begged uh, like uh, Krishi Vibhushan last year um, by uh, you know so much of effort and everything. It feels really good. Uh, I would also like to thank the ICR. Uh, animal Husbandry uh, Fisheries Department for being in uh, a you know, major support for us uh, in all the uh, times, technical help and everything, financial.